Academics can publish in journals. We publish articles in journals. We can publish books and sometimes chapters in collective books. And then we can also publish in conference proceedings, uh, which these days are, are online. Now, of these in scientific terms and, and impact, the most important these days is in journals. And journals come in many shapes and sizes. The most prestigious ones are peer-reviewed. That is, we, we send in an article and two of our colleagues, two experts in the field, will assess it and probably say what has to be changed. And then we resubmit it sometimes twice and if you're lucky, you get published. Uh, these journals are therefore double blind peer review. Blind means that the reviewers don't know who the author is, in theory. And they have uh, impact indexes, indexes uh, which is really the number of citations that they have outside of the journal itself. And uh, so uh, a prestigious journal will have double blind peer review and a fairly high uh, impact index number. OK, however, what I want to deal with here is the problem of accessibility. Uh, how do we get into the uh, into these journals? Uh, for example, I've got over here an article in a journal called The Translator. All right. Uh, and if I want to get into that first one, uh, for example, I say press on full article, I do click there, and it says I have to pay money, I can, I'm already logged in there through the institution, but that's not working, because in this case, we don't have um, a subscription to that service, I can click on in Sabidi up the top there to try to uh, tweak that and remind it, but I think that the same thing happens. We, we just don't have it. And so I don't have access to that journal unless I go to another library or uh, I log in through some other library that does have uh, a, a, a subscription, okay? Now, uh, what's interesting is that we can go into the uh, Cercador uh, to look for journals, all right? And we get in there, I'll just show us over here. We go up to the top to journals, and these will usually be the electronic journals, revistas, revistas electronicas, okay. And uh, for example, that journal was called the translator. And we will find, no, it doesn't come up here as a journal. Another one does though, that we'll look at very soon. Let me try another journal probably the most prestigious in my small field of translation studies, is Target. We can see that it's in print in the library, or we can go and find it online. We'll click on there online, go down to the, uh, the service that provides this journal, uh, in this case, Ingenta, and we get into it, okay? And we can see here, we can go to the most recent issue, and you can see at the top that we've got Sabidi, uh, so we already have access to it. And we can, let's see, click on there and uh, download the article. Okay, download article, there we go. And I don't know if you can see that screen, but I have the, the PDF of it has popped up. Okay, uh, so if we do that, if the, the university has a subscription, we get this Sabidi thing activated up here, and that works very well. Now, there are a few other tricks. If I go back now to uh, this uh, journal called the Translator, and we'll look at the, the most recent um, issue of it, if we're lucky. Come back here, okay, this is it here. Uh, we can scroll down, it's interesting actually, you can see how many people have looked at it, you can see what the most important articles might be that people have looked at more. And these out metrics indicate how often it's mentioned in uh, social media. Okay, so this one has a huge number of views. That one might, something might be happening. But why does it have so many views? 
look down here, you see that little padlock that's open? It means this one is in open access. People can go in and download that for free. Okay. Why are some journals in open access, or even in the same journal, some articles are open access and others are not? That's the open access version of it, okay? And you get a lot more readers, obviously, if you're in open access, if everybody can, can get into what you're doing. Uh, now, the, the short answer to that is uh, people pay for it. Uh, when people send in an article, uh, they can be invited to uh, pay a fee in order for the journal to make their text publicly available to everybody. The same thing that happened for books and for book chapters. And this is the way the publishing industry is working. Uh, there are other things I, I should mention. I mean, these publishers are making a lot of money out of poor academics uh, like me. Just so you know, if you write an article, you don't get paid for it, okay? If you are a reviewer for the journal and you're uh, reviewing it and giving your opinions, you don't get paid for it either. If you're the editor of a journal, usually you will get some kind of payment, but you're doing a lot of work. And then as academics, we're asked to pay for the work that academics do, or our universities are paying huge subscription rates because they have to buy a whole block of journals, many of which they won't really need. Uh, and so these companies are, I'm sorry, just ripping us off, these poor academics. So uh, there are alternatives. For example, uh, this is a journal in translation studies. It's in Canada, and it has a different policy. If I go into the latest issue at the moment, uh, I can see there's lots of articles there. And I click on the PDF for any of those articles, and I see I don't have access because I'm not subscribed. Uh, if I click on there, I might have access. Let's see. Mm, I'll go back just to find out. Oops. Let's try it again. No, it's not working. Uh, so you have to have a direct subscription. But but in this particular journal, um, if we go back to previous uh, years, previous issues, we will find we do have access. So access is blocked. It's pay, paid for for the current year, okay, 2022. I'll go back to 2020 to be sure. And if I click here, I can click on PDF, and here, yes, I get the full thing. So their policy is to make the uh, current one pay, so some money comes in, uh, but everything prior to that is, is free. Uh, why? Because it's published by a university, and they're not supposed to make money, and they're not supposed to screw academics, uh, as happens now. There are other journals. I'll just try this one, Joss Trans, which is the Journal of Specialized Translation, okay, which is entirely online. And here we have latest articles. Let me try one that might be interesting. Creativity, okay, click on PDF. And there it is, okay. This one is entirely free. Uh, it's done by people who believe in accessibility as do I. So personally, if I publish these days, I uh, try to publish in places like this, where texts become freely available. However, young academics need that impact index. And so you're sort of obliged by our institutions to publish in the prestigious journals, which, um, which are behind a paywall. And so we have to uh, make sure that our universities subscribe to the ones that we need, okay? Uh, if you haven't seen about Sabidi, there's a different, uh, the, the little thing up here, that Sabidi, take a look at the other, uh, the other video on that one. Here, I was just talking about accessibility.